Hey, it's Jordy from Fox, and we're out here at the trails to run you through a bracketing exercise. Bracketing is basically just a flow chart of suspension settings to get you as confident as you can be and get the most performance out of your suspension. So the cool thing about following the bracketing procedure is you don't really need to know the specifics of how each adjustment works because the bracketing process figures that out for you by just letting you ride those settings and figuring out if you like it more or less. Keep in mind with this process, as with any other testing, only change one thing at a time until you're done with that one thing, then you can move on. If you're doing rebound, it's rebound, complete that. If you're doing compression, it's compression, complete that. Don't switch back and forth and don't make more than one change at a time. Even tire pressure, brake angle, nothing. Do one thing and finish it. So one last thing before we get going, this exercise is useless unless you have either new or freshly serviced suspension, your bike is in good shape, pivot bearings, things like that. You have either ridden the bike for a while and have a good starting place, you have the factory settings or the manufacturer settings, and you have properly checked sag. Without these things done in the right order, this is not going to work. While bracketing might seem like a daunting task, it's really pretty simple and you don't need a whole lot to do it on your own out on the trails. You will need shock pump, scale to measure sag, and some type of multi-tool that fits your suspension clickers, and a notebook. So you got your tool list and now you need to find a section of trail. This should be pretty short and really just indicative of the type of trail that you want to ride. Whether it's turns or whether it's steeps or berms or park, just find something that matches what you want to set your bike up for. So you'll hear us mention clicks quite a few times. And for the sake of consistency, how we count clicks is from fully closed, opening it. That means clockwise, opening it back counterclockwise. Full plus, opening it to full minus. Or from firm to soft. It's mentioned a lot of different ways, but it has the same function. What you want to do is close it down all the way full plus. The first click is starting at one and open it to your suggested click. So we're just about to drop in for our first run. You want to make sure you have your starting settings written down so that wherever you end up, you can always go back to where you were. And without knowing where you start, it's going to be hard to know where you finish. So you're warmed up, you've found your bit of trail, and now you're ready to drop in for your first run of bracketing. And we're gonna start with low speed rebound. So you just did your first run, and now you're ready to do your first bracketing run of low speed rebound. And for this exercise, we're gonna close it two clicks. So that means plus two clicks and give it a run. So you're back from your first lap with a bracketing change. All you need to do is ask yourself if you liked your bike better that run or the run before. If you're not sure, you can go back and ride your bike as it was before. The cool thing about bracketing is it's a very easy flow chart of where your suspension settings were. If you liked it more, you can continue in the same vein and close the rebound two more clicks. Basically keep going in the same direction until it gets worse, then you go back. If it was immediately worse, then you flip it and go the opposite direction and open it two clicks from your recommended settings. And that's how you bracket. So we finished with our low speed rebound. Now we can move on to high speed rebound. We could move on to low speed compression or high speed compression. That's the cool thing about bracketing is it's just a process. It doesn't really matter what you're bracketing. You could bracket tire pressure, fork pressure, shock springs. You can bracket anything. It's just a way to keep track of what you're doing and the end goal is just to let you have more fun on your bike. 